What's up guys, it is the 9th of January 2021 and I officially finished my first placement at Prince Philip Hospital so I'm back to my teaching block so it's currently 11.35 in the morning on a Saturday and we're off to uni so let's go Now last time I went to Cardiff I made the mistake of bringing too much stuff so I'm hoping that all this will be enough I hope so I got my learning stuff there, got my clothes there, got a bit more clothes there and here's all my placement stuff and flip flops, yeah. Well guys, looks like I am here. Haven't been here in a while. Lala, welcome to my crib. Look the same way I left it. Not bad, not bad. Now I'll be honest. I didn't realize I left quite a few things here. To be honest, I was. You know, it's weird being back. Oh, you can see my car here, guys. That one. So the good thing about this accommodation is that I, the car park is literally outside my window. So, you know, I can wash my car when I want to, really. But yeah, welcome to my crib, guys. How about a little... T now, as you walk in, this is what you see. So in here, i got a few clothing here left. Um, don't think there's anything in the laundry basket. Good. Got a few suits here, jackets. Ooh, there's my denim jacket. I left it here. So got that here. Toilet. Um, oh, that fan is actually working for once. Um, hmm, that's fallen on the floor. Shower, toilet. And that pipe is still leaking. Lovely days. In here we have... All my toiletries, oops, that's there. So sort that out. Yeah, that's there. Got my desk, standard. Now in here, should be my food supplies. Yes, sir. So I got some food here left to eat. Happy days. Um, that's it, really. Got my bed. That's, that's literally it. I wonder if my speaker is still here. Ho ho, yes it is. Very tidy. Hopefully my stuff should still be here. Yes, it is. And my stuff still here? Yep. And I'm assuming it's my food's probably all gone off. Oh, uh, do onions have expiry dates? Not sure, but we're here. Now here, everything should be gone. Good. I asked my friend to pull it away. Okay, happy days, guys. Here, mood chart for when we're isolating, and there I am. I got food. Did I? I did not draw that. Yeah, so I enjoyed it all for me. Yeah. Birthdays, all my flatmates. What has happened there? But yeah, that's it, guys. Happy days. So let me just go get a few things from my car and get unpacked and take it from there, really. So yeah. Hello. So we are now back in Cardiff. 
the accommodation I'm staying at is called University Hall and that's quite far from the city centre itself but at least because I'm a healthcare student it's literally a 10 minute walk to the hospital and also we also get given a shuttle bus that only we can use so the bus we get is like every hour or every half an hour something like that and it goes to the hospital goes to geography area that place um it goes to student union and it goes to the place where i go also which is eastgate house but it stops at the Cardiff school of engineering but it's it's, it's a two minute walk from that station to Eastgate, so it's, n it's not too bad to be honest. Um, but yeah, about Cardiff, everything is close anyway. It's not a big city like London. So while I'm here, it's kind of quiet because currently only healthcare students are allowed to be back in uni. So stuff like adult nursing, mental health nursing, pediatric nursing, ODP medicine. Paramedic Sciences in Swansea Uni, stuff like that. So those who's not taking practical or healthcare based subjects like, for example, English literature, I don't know, history, um, politics, they're required to stay home and until February, I believe. That's when the Welsh Government has decided it's a good time for non, non I don't see non-essential students. Um, non-practical based students are allowed to come back because of this new strain of the virus that's around so I will be staying here for about four or five weeks and during that five weeks we have a few assessments I got my assignment that's due in Monday that I'm actually finished so I'm gonna give it in now um, we have mock exams but to be honest, I think I'm confident for marks because to me, it's actually revision from a level again. Because um, you got stuff like the cardiac system, central nervous system, um, cells in general, and that's kind of a level pretty much. So I'll be fine with that. Practical wise, we have our uniform pickups on Wednesday, so we get a pick up a set of scrubs as well from the uni. Um, I need to organize my occupational health meeting, assign not meet assignment, um, appointment to check my happy blood test. I don't know what they do to be honest, but it's occupational health better to go, isn't it? So we got that, but yeah, other than that, it's normal uni life as it is, I guess. Granted, it's a pandemic, people aren't allowed over. Mm. One thing I need to do is go food shopping. But I might go shopping when I come back next week because I'm kind of stocked up anyway. I got pasta here, I got rice in there. The plan for this year is to actually buy just frozen veg so that I can boil it whenever I want and get like salmon, get chicken, steak, maybe beef. I have a goes really but that's all i have today guys um yes so my placement has finished my first one like i said earlier so i'm now in my second teaching block so i'm back in uni that's all there is really so nice to be back i guess um see you all in the next video whenever i post because i'm so bad but yeah follow the instagram Pop me a DM for any questions, what videos I should do. That's it for today then, guys. So, peace in the streets. See ya.